<laughs> hey, what's up, Moon Children? I have a very special guest today. Mari Moon. Hi, people. Oi, pessoal. <laughs> Hi, Brazilian people. Oi, pessoal brasileiro. Hi, people from US. Hi, people from everywhere. I'm just a guest here, but I love <laughs> this girl already. And uh, I found out that Mari Moon was in LA, and I know how much you Brazilian Moon Children love her. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought that um, I would pick out some questions when I did the iced coffee little corner I saw you guys posting questions and I saw you guys posting also advice to each other which was amazing which is exactly what we want to do but I'm gonna pick a couple of questions and we're gonna discuss so you can sound off in the comments and um, the people that give the best advice I'm gonna pick three people that give the best advice and I have just made freshly out of my laboratory I have made the three little army of love gun charms so um, most wonderful colors ever so cute candy colors and we're gonna pick three people that give the best advice and we're gonna send these to you so I'm gonna I still haven't made them into charms so I'm gonna make that after we record this chat mm -hmm. but I've been just watching you and kinda the in my head how I imagined the iced coffee being was I'll watch what you guys talk and think about and um, you know I'm always in touch with you so I'm just gonna kind of pick different topics to talk about and um, just gonna discuss and then you guys can leave your opinions and stuff in the comments the first the first thing that I copied was from Riot and Riot says Hey everybody, I kinda need some help. I, hand, I hang out in a group of four, we're all best friends, however about a year ago one of us got a boyfriend and they went out and she decided she didn't. She didn't like him. And they went out and she decided she didn't like him so they broke up and they got back together and then he thought she was cheating on him so they broke up. Let me tell you, he's a psycho. And psycho I mean, in caps lock? Psycho. Psycho. <laughs> And I mean proper psycho. When they broke up this time, he plotted ways to kill her. Oh my god. Yeah. Like Marimon was kind of freaking out reading yeah. this. Because that's really serious stuff. And whenever somebody threatens to kill you, you better call the police. Yeah, you better that's call some the police. serious stuff. Mm -hmm. And yet she still got back together with him. But he's changed her so much. She's a different person to be person we became friends with. She's become a lot darker, kind of distur disturbing, than she used to be. She used to be a really bubbly, upbeat person, but since being with him, she's changed so much, and at one point, they were both into dead babies. Dead babies, oh my god! <sighs> like, dead babies? I'm into dead babies, I mean... But how come can you be into dead babies? Like, for real, dead babies? No. Oh, okay, <laughs> this kind of dead babies, they're cute. I don't know if this counts. Oh, yeah. These are cute dead babies. Does it have a name? No. Oh, you should. I am naming everything in my life. I should have one <laughs> thing that is okay, not named. Okay, it's called dead baby then. Call it the dead baby. The oh, here it is. I feel, like I feel like we should talk to her and explain how mm -hmm. she's changed so much, but it seems like we've left it so long that it's too late to do anything. And also, I'm kind of scared that she'll take his side and leave us, but sometimes it's just so annoying. I know I've said it loads, but I can't stress how different she is, and also she barely ever does anything with us anymore. It's all with him, and he's a psycho, and I know it's not right to hate anyone, but with him, I just can't help it. So please, I'd love if you could help me. Thank you. Hmm, well, that's kind of hard, you know. Um, sometimes people just change, and there's nothing you can do about it. Maybe they like the way they're the new them. Yeah, but... You know what, I think you guys should have a, uh, you know, like when somebody's a drug addict, then all their friends get together and do this thing called intervention. Yeah. I think you guys should do an intervention on yeah. her. Yeah, sit with her and say, say in the and cute way. And say way. how you feel. Yeah, but without, in a cute way. In don't a cute, be, don't don't be angry so. and, yeah. you know, pointing fingers and judging. Just... And, and also, I think in psychology, they say that when you say, I feel like. It's better than saying you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you, like we used to be really good friends, and now we're not anymore. And, and I you can say like, oh, we miss the time we used to spend together. Mm -hmm. Like you miss. And we miss the person you used to be. Mm -hmm. You know, 
if you guys really think she is to be a lot better person. Don't start saying, oh my god, he's a psycho. You're turning into a psycho as well. Don't say that. Yeah, especially with teenagers because they're going to want to rebel. They're yeah. going to want to be like, oh, you don't like me dating you him? You don't understand Watch me. me. I'm going to date him for the rest of my life. Yeah, that's true. But, <laughs> but also, you know, you do this, I think you do this intervention and then... If nothing changes, you have to learn to let people go of your life, too. Yeah, sometimes it's and, necessary. And everybody is walking on their own path, and everybody has their own journey and their own lessons to learn, so you just gotta allow people to kind of, you know, do their thing. Yeah. And sometimes Even though it's, it's not. hurtful sometimes. Yeah. And, I mean, letting go is painful. painful. Even when you're in a really bad relationship yeah. yourself. Or even with friends. I remember I had this one friend, and... We were really close and I realized that like hanging out with her wasn't very good for me because she was like doing a lot of drugs and stuff and like I didn't want to get into that and I was like in bed and I felt like I had just broken up with a boyfriend like breaking up with friends is really Yeah, bad, breaking so. up with friends is really bad. I broke up with a lot of friends but it's just what sometimes it happens, you know, people go different paths and you have to sometimes you just see that someone is being different from you and you don't want her to leave you so start being different as well that's not the right thing to no. do you have Everyone to be yourself be able to always experience your own yeah so always be yourself that's important and um yeah so do that intervention and see what happens good luck good luck riot yeah <laughs>